All Finnish war films show two conflicts with the Soviet Union. The Winter War, from 1939 to 1940, as well as after the German attack on the USSR, the so-called Continuation War, began from 1941 to 1944, in the USSR it is called the Soviet Finnish Front. In 1939, the USSR attacked Finland after Helsinki did not accept an ultimatum to move the borders on the Karelian Isthmus, where it passed 18 kilometers from Leningrad. As a result, Finland lost territories around Ladoga and Lake Onega, part of the islands and a piece in Lapland for a total of about 40,000 square kilometers. On June 22, 1941, with the German attack on the USSR, from June 25 to June 30, Soviet aircraft went to bomb Finland. Officially, German airfields were bombed, but about 40 Finnish cities were destroyed, including Turku, Helsinki, Kotko and others. The country's parliament approves the Mannerheim Memorandum and confirms that the country is at war with the USSR. On June 29, 1941, the offensive began, the result of which was the occupation for three months of almost the entire Karelia, including Petrozavods with access to the Sphere River line, approaching Leningrad and completely blocking it from the north. Only at the end of 1944, the Red Army restored the borders to the state of 1941. Ambush, is a 1999 Finnish war film, based on a book written by Antti Turi. The film is based on the events in July 1941, taking place in eastern Karelia during the Soviet-Finnish War. The Finnish detachment is tasked to advance to the rear of the enemy in order to later support the offensive of the main forces of the 14th Infantry Division in the Rugazursk direction, a municipality in Karelia, which was held by the Finnish army during the Continuation War. 1944 The Final Defense a 2007 war film based on the Battle of Talaya Hantala during the Continuation War. Director O.K. Lindman wanted the film to be as real as possible and include only facts. He also wanted the Finns to remember the sacrifices made by the soldiers in those battles. The film was shot using a wide range of authentic wartime vehicles, when it was not possible to purchase originals, copies were used. Some of the tanks used participated in real battles, and were kept in the museum. An exact replica of the Focke Wolf FW190, manufactured by the German company Flug Plus Work, was also used. June 1944, the Red Army breaks through the Finnish defenses on the Karelian Isthmus and moves inland. In the Vyborg area, the Finns, together with the Germans and Swedish volunteers, must stop the outnumbered Soviet army. This event will go down in history as the Battle of Talai, Ahantala and will become one of the largest battles in the history of the Scandinavian countries. Unknown Soldiers, an adaptation of the eponymous bestseller of the classic 1954 Finnish novel by Vane Linna. The film tells about a fictional company of machine gunners of the Finnish army on the Karelian front from mobilization in 1941 to the armistice in 1944. The best film of the year of Finnish cinema, the film turned out really good, the battle scenes look high quality, the attitude of the Finnish military and local residents to the war throughout the entire time of the war before the announcement of the armistice is shown.